G'day guys, how you doing? And just when you thought Skywatcher couldn't improve on something, well, they have, and that is the Skywatcher Star Adventurer GTI. What's the biggest difference between the Skywatcher Star Adventurer 2i and Skywatcher Star Adventurer GTI? Well, it's got GoTo. <laughs> That's right. They have incorporated GoTo into this little Skywatcher Star Adventurer mount. And that is just absolutely going to change the game for a lot of things, especially those that uh, image uh, deep sky astrophotography and have converted their Skywatcher Star Adventurer 2 eyes. Um, to do just that. Now I think these guys might want to get on board with the GTI. So some of you might be wondering what the payload capacity is on the Skywatcher uh, Star Adventurer GTI. And it's the same as the Skywatcher Star Adventurer. It's got a five kilo payload capacity, which means that it's quite comfortable in balancing and imaging with a, uh, a portable um, little uh, telescope just like the Skywatcher Evilux 62ED and on the back of that I've got my Nikon um, Z7 battery grip so as we can see it's quite well balanced with a 5 kilo um, uh, counterweight which comes with the uh, Skywatcher uh, Star Adventurer GTI um, and you can also add a, uh, a guide scope to it as well so white handling should be perfectly fine. So guys, let's talk about some of the features that the Skywatcher Star Adventure GTI has. It has Wi-Fi, just like the Skywatcher Star Adventure 2i. So there isn't too much difference there, but this is where things start to get a little bit more different. The Skywatcher Star Adventure GTI does have a polar scope inbuilt into the unit, as well as a red light to help you help illuminate um, and be able to see your uh, where you're pointing with your um, polar uh, setup. However, with the app itself, you can actually control how bright that red light is with inside the, uh, the Skywatcher Star Adventure GTI, which really does help just in case you, uh, you have some faint stars, just like you're in the Southern Hemisphere, and you don't need that uh, bright red light to uh, overwhelm all the stars so you can't see it. So you can adjust the brightness. Now on the back of the Skywatcher Star Adventure GTI mount, we have a little control panel here. And on it, we've got an auto guider port, a hand controller port. That's right, you can even connect one of your hand controllers up to this mount. So it's really a mini EQ mount. That's what it essentially is. Um, you've also got a, a USB port, so you can plug this little mount into your computer and run it off of your, uh, your computer. So I haven't tried it yet in running it off of my computer and through um, software like Nina and stuff like that but pretty sure probably be able to do it um, you've got your power in cable and I want to talk a little bit about that in a moment as well as your snap cable to power your um, DSLR or mirrorless camera so one of the things I'm really excited about when it comes to the Scott Watcher Star Adventure GTI mount is the powering aspect strangely enough you can either power it via your normal sort of cigarette lighter um, power adapter cord or you can power it by batteries. This thing here takes eight AA um, batteries to power it and it can last for roughly up to about 36 hours according to Skywatcher. That changes a lot of stuff. I mean how much more simpler can an astro imaging session get? for someone who just wants to grab a system, go shoot the stars for a few hours and then travel back home, especially if you want to uh, image underneath some dark skies and you don't really want to take a lot of equipment with you or you want to make it as lightweight as possible. This thing here is a game changer. And not only that, it means that if you fly to your locations um, or travel into state or anything like that, you can then just carry batteries or leave your batteries at home and buy some batteries in a, in whatever country uh, you're in. So this makes this mount really convenient in terms of travel as well. And the fact that it's just go-to, 
I mean, come on. Skywatcher, I think, have really done it here. So let's talk a little bit more about the design of the Skywatcher Star Adventurer GTI. It's an all-in-one unit, essentially. So the wedge itself is incorporated into the unit, whereas the Skywatcher Star Adventurer 2i, the wedge is separate to it. So a little bit less setting up and a little bit quicker um, to set up with, uh, with this unit here. Also, you might notice I've actually got it mounted onto the Skywatcher um, pier for the Star Adventure as well as the Skywatcher uh, tripod itself. Now these two items here are sold um, separately to the GTI, so if you do want that you will have to um, purchase it separately. But you don't necessarily need it because this little Skywatcher Star Adventure GTI can set up on a normal camera tripod just as long as your tripod can support the weight of your setup itself. Now, I would probably advise in purchasing the, the pier extension um, as well, purely because if you've imaged with your practice before, you know that when they're sort of flipping around sometimes, your cameras can hit the tripod legs. So having that little bit of an extension does help out. Now on the front end of the Skywatcher Star Adventure GTI, it has a bit of a trick up its sleeve. If you're in one of those parts of the world where the, uh, you have issues with the altitude adjustments, well, you can actually reposition this whole uh, setup right here. And I'll show you what you can uh, do to do that. On the front here, you got this little uh, black plug. And all you need to do is just undo that, like so. And then we can Take off our counterweight shaft. And reposition our counterweight shaft. In the front, like so. So that's gonna make this setup a lot more flexible and easier for those that have uh, altitude um, issues in setting up their EQ mounts. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my review of the Skywatcher Star Adventurer GTI mount. Uh, this thing is absolutely fantastic and I love it. Unfortunately, it has to go back to Skywatcher Australia. So, I've definitely uh, made my pre-order, but let me know in the comments below if you're going to be purchasing one yourself. And uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't uh, seen some of my other videos, please check them out. And... Don't forget to hit that subscribe. Alright guys, so that's it for me. So until next time, take it easy. See yous. Well guys, here's a bit of a fun fact for you. When I found out about the Skywatcher Star Adventure GTI, um, I was also asked by Skywatcher Australia if I would like to participate in the promo video for the new mount. And I said yes. So... If you guys have watched that video, please let me know what you think of my acting skills. Do I need to uh, improve a bit more or were they on point? Alright guys, see you later.